My name is Brian Osborne. I'm a GP and I'm the director of the mental health program at the Irish College of General Practitioners and I'm a GP in Galway City. So the first thing we do is listen. Then we would probably ask, ask, ask some questions. Did you ever feel you need to cut back? Do you ever feel guilty about your drinking? Because people might think they have a problem, but maybe they don't have a problem. So the first thing we want to do is to def define the problem. Then it would be a case of, again, open, non-judgmental conversations. When it's starting to impact on your life, impact on your daily activities of living, impact on your work, impact on your friends, impact on your physical health, that's when we're into problem drinking. And to be honest, that, that's the extreme spectrum. The problem has probably started much earlier than that. As an individual, we'd say, if you feel, do you feel guilty about your drinking? Do you feel you need to cut back? Do you feel that you're trying to hide your drinking from friends or family? They'd be worrying signs. And as a friend or family watching it, is the person getting out of control when they're drinking? Do they do unusual things when they're drinking? Is there more social withdrawal after drinking? Again, they'd be worrying signs to look out for. But it, there is a huge spectrum of what can happen, but they'd be a good generality. The physical effects, it's, it's from top to bottom, really. For your mental health, you'd be looking at anxiety, depression, paranoia, feeling generally low. You might feel quite relaxed when you're having a drink, but the after effects can be quite, quite severe. And socially then, I suppose alcohol is, is invasive in our, our society, it can ruin families, It'd be involved in risk-taking behaviour in alcohol, get into trouble with the, the law, lose family, lose friends, you know, lose jobs. So there's you know, a lot of issues around alcohol in general. I would say the first thing would be do to talk to family and friends. But if the individual feels that they need help, I would say the first protocol would be to go to your general practitioner. And there are brief interventions, there's addiction counsellors that can be accessed, there's on-site counselling that can be accessed. For further problems, you know, going down the line, there are centres that, inpatient centres for, for alcohol abuse. But if you feel that you're at the start of a problem, I would definitely uh, seek help from your general practitioner.